as the campaign gets into its last week, what do the Republicans decide to do? Well, you know, we don't know if they can do the fact checking in time. Let's just throw up all this crap and hope that it sticks. Uh, we showed you yesterday they're rerunning uh, the welfare ads. Obama changed welfare to work re requirements so you don't have to work anymore. He's just giving out the cash to black people. Okay, now, it's not true at all. Uh, in fact, the Republican governors asked for that change, and it actually makes it, you know how Obama is, it makes it more right wing. <laughs> it requires a bigger work requirement. Anyway, which I don't oppose. It's, it's fine, right? But they're absolutely lying about it. And then they put out the ad that we've also shown you about, uh, oh my God. What are they, Cartman? <laughs> oh my God. They're sending Jeeps to China. Questionable Cartman accent. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so now it's true Jeep is making some uh, Jeeps in China because they're selling them in China. They're not moving them from the U.S. They're not getting rid of any jobs here. In fact, they've added jobs. So it's totally not true. It's misleading. And it paints Romney as like, oh, I am the savior of the auto industry. My mother. Now, wait a minute. You're the same guy who said let him go bankrupt. It, not remotely true. And you know what? Big Papa Joe Biden has had enough of this. Go ahead, Joe, regulate. In the last hours of this campaign, if you can believe it, they're running the most scurrilous ad in Ohio. And I mean this sincerely. I want you to listen. One of the most flagrantly dishonest ads I can ever remember in my political career. Say it so, Joe. Say it so, Joe. See how I turned that around? All right, so now is it just Joe Biden? No. Uh, it is, in fact, the fact checkers, it is in fact those companies themselves. PolitiFact rated the Romney ad pants on fire, in fuego. I don't know if you know this, that means it's a really, really big lie. You might want to take your pants off because you're going to get all burned up. Which, by the way, would be unfortunate with Republicans. That often gets them in trouble. So then let's go to the actual companies. Now, Corporate Communications had a Chrysler says, quote, Let's set the record straight. Jeep has no intention of shifting production of its Jeep models out of North America to China. In other words, end of this. <laughs> what Romney's saying is not true at all. Now, this is very unusual. Companies don't weigh in a week before an election, etc. Except they're using these companies. They're lying about these companies. So they said, well, I've got to set the record straight. In fact, here's Greg Martin, a General Motors spokesman, because in the latest radio ad, Romney ha includes General Motors along with Chrysler. It says, the ad is cynical campaign politics at its worst, bereft of any fundamental understanding of the global automotive industry. I love that. He says, look, quote, all global manufacturers, whether General Motors, Ford, Chrysler, or VW, build historically in the markets which we sell. So in other words, you dumbass, we make the Jeeps in China that we sell to China. We make the Jeeps that we sell to America in America. Okay, we didn't change any of that. That's always the way it is. In fact, you should be really happy because all these different American companies are growing at, their sales are growing at 10, 13, 14 percent. And now we're selling American cars in China. That's not a bad thing. That's a great thing. As long as we're not moving the jobs abroad and we are not. Okay, if that wasn't clear enough, the General uh, Motors spokesperson continues, quote, We've clearly entered some parallel universe during these last few days. No amount of campaign politics at its cynical worst will diminish our record of creating jobs in the U.S. and repatriating profits back to this country. Damn. They just call them out for living in a parallel universe where the facts don't matter. And they nailed it, because that's exactly what the Republicans do. And when challenged on this, of course, they all say, I mean, look, you know, China. Yeah, Obama, bad. Bad Obama. Paul Ryan was asked about it today. He said, well, you know, there was a bailout of the auto companies. I know. Wait, oh, wait a minute. In the ad, you seemed like you were in favor of it. What happened? So, hey, it cost the American people $25 million. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, were you in favor of the auto bailout or were you against it? <laughs> Obama, bad. Everybody look over there. Obama's bad. Everybody run that way. Get, get. Luckily, we only have to deal with these guys for six more days.